It's the biggest photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom conference anywhere, and it's coming this summer to Orlando. It's the world's most famous instructors sharing their latest techniques. It's more than 80 classes on everything from landscape photography to portrait photography, from flash and studio lighting to the business side of things. It's live shoots, hands-on workshops, it's Photoshop classes, Lightroom classes, it's vendors with show specials, it's community, it's inspiration, and it's three days where you'll learn more than you have in three years. Go to PhotoshopWorld.com right now to get your tickets. Hey, well, hi, everybody, and welcome. Uh, glad to have you guys here. My name is Scott Kelby. This is Mr. Eric Kuna. Hey, guys, how's it going? And uh, it's going good. Yeah. <laughs> we are very excited today. We're talking about the big Photoshop World Conference that is coming up. We're doing some stuff that's very different today because we're mostly going to hear from you guys. Uh, we're here mm -hmm. to answer questions. Uh, but we're going to hear from people that have actually been to the conference. They're going to tell you about their experience. And somebody who's watching live today is going to win this awesome bag right here. It is a Think Tank Photo Retrospective 20. You think, that's not really a camera bag. That's the whole idea behind it. It doesn't look like a camera bag, but it's an awesome camera bag. They're super popular. Someone watching today is going to win one. How do they win one? They win one by just commenting. So going on the Facebook page or going on the members uh, webcast yep. page, just leaving a comment. We'll pick one of the people who comments, shares, anything like that. And speaking of sharing, that's one of the things. If you're an alumni um, of Photoshop World watching this, we want to hear your story. We're going to play a lot of stories, you know, from, from people that have been before, but we want to hear your story. So, you know, make sure in the chat, tell people what you love about Photoshop World, why you love coming, all that stuff, and make sure you share with your friends. Also, this is the 20th year mm -hmm. of Photoshop World. To celebrate, we're doing two Photoshop World conferences this year. On the East Coast, it's coming up at the last day of next month in Orlando, Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a great home for it. We were there last year with it at, at the Hyatt, right there in Orlando, the Hyatt Regency, an incredible place to have Photoshop World. And then in the West Coast in August, we're gonna be out in Vegas at our brand new home for our West Coast show at the Mirage Resort and Casino. So one's coming up in two months, one's coming up in four months. <laughs> yep. And you go to, go to the one that's closest to you, but we're very excited to have you guys here. Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's launch in. We do wanna hear your comments and questions, so please enter. Well, first, if you say anything in the chat, you're automatically entered to win. Maybe you'll win this bag live here on the mm -hmm. show, but also we wanna answer your questions. Well, I know there's a lot of people that have heard about Photoshop World, and of course, the first thing they think is it's just Photoshop. Yep. It's so much more than Photoshop. It started off being just Photoshop. Yep. So 20 years ago, it was just Photoshop. But it's grown to be design. It's grown to be a lot of photography and lighting and flash and all these other things. Mm -hmm. So it's basically Photoshop, Lightroom, um, photography. It's all those, all the things that you would see on Kelby One. Yeah. That's really the conference. It's a Kelby One conference, you know. It right. is where Kelby One members come together, alumni come together to have three days where they get immersed. And I think that's gonna, you know, you get, we're gonna say the stuff that it's just what we hear from people. Yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, speaking of that, I think we have our first uh, uh, person is Sam. Sam's gonna talk about, Sam is actually an instructor at Kelby One, but he was at one time just an attendee. So let's, uh, let's watch and see what Sam has to say. I mean, Photoshop World is definitely one of the highlights of my year and the classes are always amazing. But honestly, for me, the best part about Photoshop World are the interactions that you make and the connections that you make with other attendees in between those classes. It's the friendships uh, that you that you make and the bonds that you make, the people that are that are going through the same the same things that you're going through, and people that have all of this knowledge and all this talent. Just being in the same place with them, getting to know them, and getting to call them friends, uh, that's the best part of Photoshop World for me. I think the biggest difference with Kelby One is the fact that there is a community and there is a, a face, you know, to the company. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you about the friendships that I've made um, through Kelby One at Photoshop World. It's really an incredible you know, group of people that get together with 
you know, similar goals and similar interests. It's, um, it's been really kind of the highlight of my photography career is meeting these people. And the fact that I've gone from, from knowing nothing and reading that one book by Scott to actually being here and being able to uh, contribute some of my own knowledge in some way to Calby One, uh, it's, it's pretty surreal for me. It's pretty cool. Well, there you go. That's, uh, so that's Sam's story. Uh, we got more stories coming up. Um, one of the things uh, that uh, our next story comes from is a, a person who uh, she's been attending for a while, but she's a Guru Award winner. She won the Guru Awards. Oh, and you congrats. Were definitely, you were definitely going to hear from her, like her uh, surprise and excitement. But maybe you could explain, Scott, to people what the Guru Awards is and why, why we have the Guru Awards. Yeah, just a quick 30 seconds. Uh, it, it's, it's a competition that's only open to people that are at Photoshop World. So it's great. You have a limited audience of people that can join. Uh, we have all different categories. So you can enter in like a photography category or a retouching category. Or there's all these different categories. You choose the one you want. You enter. And then uh, we have a panel of judges. They they pick the best in each category and you win a very nice trophy, beautiful trophy and a prize. But I can't tell you how many people's careers have been launched by winning a Guru Award. We make quite a bit of fuss about it. We feature their work. We feature them in the magazine. So it's, it's a chance for us to elevate one of our members' work, mm -hmm. right? Someone that's come oh, yeah. to the conference and experienced that. But I think it's unique because it's not open to everybody. It's just open to people at the conference. So it, it's, but we get some really good entries in. And also we get a lot of people that have won that are like, I can't believe I won. You know, like I never thought I would win. And there they are on stage, you know, getting a prize and holding a beautiful trophy. So it's a cool thing. And don't take his word for it. Let's see what Mary Bell says about it. Hey guys, we're here with a, another Photoshop World alumni. We've got Mary Bell on the line. Hey, Mary Bell, how's it going? Hey, good, thank you, how are you? Great, great. Uh, well, I really appreciate you coming in to talk about your experience. And uh, guys, we're in a Photoshop World royalty. Uh, we have a Photoshop World guru winner here on the lines uh, talking to us about their experience. So uh, you've been a few times to Photoshop World, right? Yes, I have. Uh, my first Photoshop World, I believe it was in 2013. And since then, um, uh, I've been about four times. Very cool. And now this last time, you know, so just so people understand, uh, uh, this last time you won a Guru Award at the Photoshop Worlds, right? Yes, I did. I actually, uh, to my surprise, I won the uh, Guru Award in the artistic category uh, for my self-portrait actually, which is, uh, my self-portrait is called Awakening, and it's actually right yep. here in the back. Um, yeah. And it's, it was an, an incredible moment in my career, and I, I thank you and Kelby One and everyone for such a great honor. I appreciate it. Well, we thank you for submitting it, and it was—it is. I still remember that awesome photo. Uh, and if you don't, if you guys don't know about the Guru Awards at Photoshop World, what it is is it's a contest that's run for the attendees for Photoshop World to submit in certain categories um, to win. Um, so with you, you know, obviously that's one of your highlights. But what is one of your favorite things about Photoshop World? You've been four times. What's kind of your favorite thing about Photoshop World? Honestly, um, because. I tend to be more of a self-portrait. I kind of uh, work in solitude in a way, alone. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to meet up with fellow um, photographers and designers and just meet some incredible instructors that I've looked up to. You know, you get a chance to meet with these people, to converse, to network and ask questions, pick their brain and and build your network that way as well. And it's such an incredible um, opportunity uh, that you have at your hands. I mean, you have these amazing instructors that you kind of look up to and learn from, right? And they're literally just walking past you down the hallway <laughs> yeah. and they invite you to come over and say hello and, and meet them and ask them questions. And I think that open forum is so incredibly powerful. Um, and uh, just, you know, I've learned a ton uh, with, uh, with business wise, uh, technical, technically wise, um, and it's incredibly inspiring for cool. just, 
out the box inspiring. You leave Photoshop World and you cannot wait to start working on a new project. Even as I'm in the workshops, I'm writing down notes about what I can do to this image, what new technique I use, when can I use it? And that spurs many different ideas. And then you come home and you execute them. You have just a plethora of things to work from. So that's what I love about the conference. Very cool. Well, you know, rewinding the clock back, you've been to four of them. When you, when you, before you started coming, um, and kind of encouraging other people that might be at that stage, what, were there any obstacles that were in your way when you first uh, decided to come, like that first, uh, getting that commitment to come to the first one? Was there any obstacles there? Um, well, actually, my first Photoshop world, I was invited by my coworker um, who had been before, and she told me all the great things about it. And my employer was grateful enough to pay for my conference pass. Um, and I learned so many tricks of the trade. And so, cause you know, I, I also do graphic design uh, full time for work. So I, I brought back all those things that I've learned into my uh, place of employment and, you know, they got a return on their investments tenfold. Um, and then after that, I just loved it so much that I continued to go to this event, uh, to conference and actually started inviting my friends and my photographer friends to come along and kind of just pay that forward. So very cool. Yeah. Well, you know, when you talk about, you know, like Photoshop world, um, and you talk to them, how does it make you feel? How does Photoshop world make you feel? Man, it makes me feel like I'm at home. So like I'm at home with people who I can relate to, uh, with creatives that I can feed off of and they feed off me. Um, and I really feel completely relaxed. I'm pretty shy. Um, I'm an introvert naturally. Um, and you know, I just kind of stay to myself. Um, but at the conference, I feel really comfortable to approach people and to talk with complete strangers that I've never met before, whether it's about the camera or the lens or course or, or uh, you know, an instructor or a technique that we might have learned. Um, it's really, uh, it's really a great um, kind of hub to uh, foster those um, relationships, like I've said before. And I think that's probably um, the best um, thing that I look forward to in Photoshop world is just kind of geeking out and just getting immersed in the technology and what new technology um, Adobe is showing to us or the keynote, how amazing that is. The keynote spe uh, speaker um, in the keynote address is always full of energy. Um, it's funny um, and you know everyone gets a kick out of it. So. All the participants there are all there with the same goal and the same mission. So it's really nice to kind of let your hair hair down, right? And yeah. sit back and relax and, and just kind of take it in and have fun. Absolutely. Yeah, I get, a, that's a, I get that same thing out of it. It's very uh, uh, reinvigorating. Um, so out of, out of Photoshop World, has there been any opportunities that have come out of Photoshop World for you uh, since attending? Oh my God, there's been so many. So, I mean, when I first attended in 2013, I saw, um, you know, the Guru Award winners called and they walked up to the stage and I sat in my chair and I'm like, oh my God, these people are gurus. That's so cool. Look at what they won their award for. Wow, that's really awesome. And here I am in 2018, last year, I'm the one walking up there <laughs> and getting an award. Like yeah. me, little old me, that is an incredible, powerful, um, I don't know, I guess, testament or uh, confession, if you will, that I came from just being an admirer of this awesome award and these awesome people to actually winning one. And ever since I've started attending, um, my design skills have improved and sharpened. I have works, um, self-portrait works in galleries. 
Um, I have self portrait works in, in online on some magazines. Um, I've done clientele work uh, where they they like my self portrait work, but you know I've been hired to do commissioned work for them. And I mean my career is just really taking off, and I I'm really indebted to all the things that I've learned in Photoshop worlds, in addition to um, all the kind of um, pushing and shoving in a good way in terms of fostering, I keep saying that word, in terms of uh, fostering um, creativity from people that are in the same boat and instructors. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, Lindsay Adler is someone who I really look up to and I joined her Facebook group um, because of Photoshop World and what I've learned. Um, I've joined photo walks and just, you know, so many different avenues that I've taken this uh, experience with Photoshop World, tons of it. So I really, my career has really blown and it's gonna, going to continue to grow. I have a lot, a lot to learn, uh, but um, from where I am now, leaps and bounds, it's incredible. Well, that's awesome. I mean, and, and yeah, you've, and you've really, you've really said it all of like what Photoshop World is all about. It is about that experience. It's about getting immersed, uh, and it's about that progression in, in your career and in your photography. We're really into it to to get people um, to get to where we're getting farther with our photography and our Photoshop skills. So that's sure. really cool awesome. to to hear. So, um, are there any other highlights about Photoshop World for you that you'd want to? tell people about? Um, I really also enjoy the expo where uh, there's vendors and exhibit, exhibit, ex exhibit, exhibit. Yeah, those people. Yeah, <laughs> the, the exhibitors, yes. <laughs> they come and you get to try new things and a new technology and um, new products that are out in the market. For example, um, last year it was a platypod, um, and there's just like Canon is there. You get to try out new lenses, um, get to uh, try out new, see what kind of paper you can print on. Um, and they also have like photo um, kind of squares where they set up a, a, a scene, if you will, um, of a model and a background and excellent lighting and you can go and try you know just bring your camera and shoot away at these at these kind of exhibitions um, that they have there and last year there was a really cool one by um hilmar smith mm -hmm. and rodriguez which was pretty rad <laughs> it was um, really cool yeah it was so cool um and you know it's it's just so fun to kind of think, it allows you to think out the box, try new things, try new ideas, try new products, um, all in a condensed time space of only three days. I actually wish it was longer because it's so much fun. Well, I love you, it. You'll be excited. Uh, um, Mark and Hilmar are actually back this year uh, with new photo uh, experiences, photo booths that they're putting together. So uh, I'm not sure how yet how it's going to uh, what they're going to solidify, but you know, with them, it's going to be very awesome. Cool. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Well, I really appreciate you coming on, sharing your story. Uh, thank you so much for sharing, sharing this uh, with our members and with people that are thinking about coming to Photoshop World. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at Photoshop World again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for this opportunity. This is fantastic. And I'm greatly honored um, that you guys even took the time to um, chat with me. It's, it's, I'm really stoked about that. So thank you so much. All right, thanks. How hey, awesome was that? Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I mean, you know, that's what's, what's so cool is that, um, and I think, you know, if you stick with us on this, you're going to see a pattern with a lot of the answers that it's, a, it's very consistent throughout what people are getting out of Photoshop world. So very cool stuff. And we got people all over the world. We've seen in the comments, all over the world, people chatting. We've got uh, Kirk, uh, Kirk Marsh from Texas. We've got Cassaba from Hungary. We got Michael saying, hey guys, can't wait for Photoshop World. We got Lori from Newfoundland. So all over the world, people commenting, people telling about their Photoshop World story, how cool it is. Uh, but one of the questions that we got was from uh, First Mohican, and Scott, I'd like to ask you this, is what would you recommend as a basic photography education knowledge for getting the optimal experience out of attending Photoshop World? 
Well, that's a good question. There will be people at Photoshop World that are, are brand new beginners to photography. There are going to be people there that are more advanced. Uh, but you know what it is? There, there's a number of classes. So you would kind of go to the class that you want to go that fits what you want to learn. Uh, you can come a day early. Uh, we have a pre-conference workshop if you really want to dig into something. So let's say that you're kind of new to Lightroom and you really want to dig in. Well, we've got like a crash course on Lightroom. It's like you, if you're mm -hmm. like, I don't really know it that well. I want to get up to speed. I think we have the same thing for Photoshop. Yep, we do. So it, it's kind of you get to pick and choose. If it says advanced in the title, don't go to that class. <laughs> go to the ones that go, oh, okay, they're talking about introduction to Flash. You know, that might be the one you want to go to. So understand that there's such a wide range of levels and skill levels, and that's why we have so many classes going concurrently. So you can look and say, okay, the one that interests me is this one. Uh, and if, and if, if you, you know, there, that one at that time is advanced, you'll just go choose another one that suits you. Um, that's one thing we don't really hear a lot from people saying there wasn't something for me. Like we read mm, all the yeah. evaluations. Every year we every pour one. through these evaluations to try to make it better every year and every year. And that's why it's been around for 20 years because it constantly does get better. But, but we really do read those comments. And I don't, I don't really see people saying no. I'm, I'm new. I have seen many times I thought I would be lost. I thought it would be over my head but I was able to fit right in. I don't think that, that you can take that worry thing off your list. You will have plenty of stuff for you. A lot of people teaching from ground one. And again, you're gonna look at all the classes going on and you'll choose the ones that, you'll read the, you'll read the description, you'll go, oh, that's, that's where I need to be. So speaking of first time attendees and getting up to speed, coming to Photoshop World, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what the first time attendee orientation is for? Oh, yeah. So if you've never been to Photoshop World, uh, I would definitely go and attend Larry Becker is the guy that runs it. And Larry's awesome. Go see Larry Becker's uh, first time attendee orientation. He basically takes you. Here's what you're to expect. Here's where to go. Here's what to do. Here's how to get to the party. Here's how to do this. I mean, he really covers everything in such a great way. We actually, it's before the conference, it's the day before. We get rave reviews. <laughs> Larry's that good. We get rave reviews from Larry's class on what to do when the classes start. So it's really good. And He's so entertaining came, and, and informative. From feedback from people of yeah. wanting to know when they first come. Like, yeah. So we're like, yeah, we should tell people you know, how to navigate the conferences as their first time. So Larry does that. And speaking of coming for your first time, that's our next, uh, our next person, uh, Mike. He's actually a first-time attendee. He's a member, but I wanted to hear from him of why he's going to Photoshop World. Oh, good. Now, we have Mike on the line. Um, he hasn't been to Photoshop World before, but I wanted to really talk to him because to get his perspective of why he's going or why he wants to go. So, hey, Mike, great to see you. Hey, Eric, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, so, you know, first off, Mike, uh, before we get into why you're going to Photoshop World, maybe tell us a, a little bit for our members and the people that are watching a little bit about you. So I know you're a Kelby One member, but what else? What is Mike? Who is Mike? Uh, well, I um, grew up in the DC area. Um, I started um, uh, in photography in high school, uh, shooting film. Um, had a really good experience there. My teacher was you know, really supportive. Um, so. Uh, that's what got me into photography. Um, my day job, I work in IT. Uh, live just outside of DC uh, with my wife and my daughter, uh, who's uh, in fifth grade. And um, I also do uh, quite a bit of volunteer stuff uh, when I'm not working or taking pictures. So um, that's uh, sort of Mike in a nutshell. <laughs> so, so Mike, you're 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 a, you're a passionate photographer. You're one of those where this is your passion. Like you love uh, photography and what it does for you. Um, it's not necessarily your day job. This is something that, you know, just excites you, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's not, not my profession uh, at mm -hmm. all, but uh, I'm very passionate about it. I enjoy it quite yeah. a bit. Cool. So my question with Photoshop World is, first, simple, why are you mm -hmm. going? Well, um, since I joined uh, Kelby One a couple of years ago, um, and there was a lot of uh, buzz when I joined about uh, um, Photoshop World uh, last year, um, I, I really had some FOMO there. I really felt like uh, I was missing out when I wasn't able to make it uh, mm -hmm. last year. Um, heard a lot of great things about it. Um, and so this year I definitely wanted to, uh, to do my best to, to try and get down there. So um, you know, really for me, the main thing is uh, just being able to uh, set aside a few days uh, to immerse yourself um, in uh, photography education, 
um, you know, being able to network with uh, people who are also passionate about photography and, um, you know, meet some of the instructors um, that I've seen on Kelby One and, you know, interact with them and, and uh, kind of get to know them a little better as well. So um, that's really the main thing is being able to get uh, get down there for a few days, uh, kind of forget about, uh, you know, the pressures of, of the real world and, and just kind of immerse yourself in photography for a bit. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's, you know, honestly, that's most people is, you know, we get so caught up in our our, our lives and stuff, we don't give time to get really immersed. Um, and that's where we talk about the experience of Photoshop World. So you yeah. say that, you know, you, you saw stuff, you saw other people's experiences, um, you saw the stuff that, that we were doing before. Um, and I can tell you, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great event. Uh, the last year, the event you're talking about, um, was the highest ranked event we've ever done. So, I mean, the survey data back on it was just through the charts. So I know you're gonna have a blast, but what about the experience at Photoshop World really had you uh, going this year? Um, again, just uh, um, the opportunity to um, meet people that I've met um, online on the community. Yeah. Uh, so be able to talk to those guys a little bit uh, in person. Um, and um, again, just, uh, the number and variety of, of classes that are offered through uh, instructors that I've seen both on, on Kelby One and also, you know, their own channels on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, to be able to uh, learn directly and interact directly with them uh, is huge. I mean, it's a it's a tremendous opportunity. And um, one of the things that I'm really excited about, since I do, uh, I am getting into sports photography now. Uh, I'm going to be attending the pre-conference workshop with Dave Black. Uh, oh, yeah. for the sports workshop there. And so that is another tremendous, you know, opportunity that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. That pre-con is going to be awesome. We've been talking about that one. So, yeah. um, and actually, if you are watching this, um, I, I believe we were just in a meeting about it. There's only a few more spots available for that pre-con. So definitely go sign up if you're interested. Um, yeah. so, so Mike, what do you hope to get out of Photoshop World? Um, well, I think, um, you know, I think the main thing that I want to get out of Photoshop World is um, to come back with um, sort of refreshed and, and renewed and further inspired um, to take my photography to the next level uh, through education, through taking classes there, uh, through interacting with my peers um, and instructors. Um, that's the, the real thing is just uh, to come away feeling like um, I've, I've really learned something new. Um, and I, I'm anxious and, uh, and well, not anxious, but excited and eager to um, apply those new skills and that new knowledge uh, to my photography when I get back. Awesome, awesome. So in this process of, of, of deciding to go to Photoshop World, <laughs> were there any obstacles that you had to overcome uh, that prevented you from signing up to actually go? Not necessarily. Um, you know, I think just uh, kind of scheduling some time off from, from work uh was probably um the main obstacle um and just trying to line up things logistically you know from a from a personal perspective that, that was really it i mean yeah. as, fine as, uh, as far as the sign up process you know everything was was really easy yeah. and straightforward yeah um but uh, you know life tends to get in the way a little bit but uh it, it was not insurmountable so oh yes well and that, that's definitely something we hear all the time the 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 time issue you know it's just um having that time to invest back into yourself um, it, it's hard because life gets in the way sometimes, but I know that the people that, you know, we've talked to that do that and make that commitment, um, it pays them back tenfold. So I think that's Absolutely. definitely something where, um, you know, people have overcome that obstacle and always said, I'm so glad, um, I'm going. In fact, we have a lot of people that have gone for years and years and years because of what the experience you're talking about. They, f they feel renewed, they feel refreshed afterward and motivated. And that's something in photography that we need, especially when photography is not our full-time, 100% what we do as a profession, especially. Sure. So, um, Absolutely. Are there any problems that you're trying to solve by coming to Photoshop World? Um, any problems? Um, not necessarily. Um, again, I think it's just more um, having access to um, instructors and to um, other photographers who are also passionate about it um, and being able to uh, just kind of bounce ideas off of them, um, you know, maybe come in with a, um, a few 
things that I've been working on and just get people's opinions of, you know, is this a good approach or how would you do things differently? But not necessarily any problems, I don't think. Cool. Well, last question here. This is the, the exciting one. So right. you're coming, you're going to be there. You're going to be surrounded by all these photographers, all these instructors for three days, just focused on your passion. How does that really make you feel? I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really, uh, I really can't wait to get down there. Um, I, I think uh, it's going to be a fantastic experience. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to um, relaxing and uh, learning and having a, having a great time. You know, like Rick Salmon says, if you're if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that that's really what I'm looking forward to. Just to being able to take a few days uh, to um, have this experience uh, around uh, my passion and uh, and enjoy it. Well, awesome, Mike. Well, thanks for coming on and uh, sharing your experience, your story with us. And uh, we really look forward uh, for you to come be there. We're looking forward to everybody being there. It's going to be a great event. Uh, and now uh, let's get back to the webcast. Thanks, Eric. Hey, we're back. If you just joined us, want to mention that we are giving away this awesome Think Tank 20 retrospective to someone watching live here right now. This is a wonderful camera bag. It's delightful. It's designed to not look like a camera bag, but it is a perfect, awesomely awesome awesomeness. And to win that bag, you just leave a comment and you're entered because we're going to pick a winner here in just a few minutes. And someone watching us right now live is going to win. That's yes, good. so we got uh, and we got tons of people commenting, uh, great comments like Mark Rodriguez is saying, Photoshop world has changed my life. I can honestly say that both personally and professionally. And then Jay Graham is saying, I went to Photoshop world 2018. I met Jay at Photoshop world. Yeah, I did. Uh, in last year, first time. And uh, I was going as pretty much cold turkey as I didn't know anyone personally. I had met Scott, Dave Black, Told and you. Rick <laughs> preciously, precisely, or preciously. Um, and I went uh, to shortlist of people that I wanted to introduce myself to, and I was able to accomplish, uh, accomplish that. And that's one thing that comes up a lot, that you know, people really think with our conference, like the people aren't accessible. And oh, however, no. they're totally accessible. Yeah, I get to hire the instructors, mm -hmm. and, and I hire people that, that they want to meet you. They want to hang out. They want to go to the party. They want to see you. They want to answer your questions. I don't hire jerky. I hire mm -hmm. really nice, good, awesome instructors. I, I hire the best people on earth. Hey, Christina, do you mind uh, scrolling that down a little bit? Sure. Yeah. And then uh, Robert, Robert Hernandez is saying uh, this is his eighth, eighth Photoshop world coming up. All Love right. It. Recharges my photography and keeps me going. Uh, Karen Norman is saying uh, Photoshop world is like Disney. If you've never been, you have to go. Photoshop really is the happiest place on earth. <laughs> I so, love that. I love that comment. Uh, and then, uh, ooh, and then, Hilmar saying, "Photoshop world changed my life completely. In just one year, I've accomplished much more, um, and it started with Photoshop world last year." Um, so the, you know, and they're just keep on coming in. So anybody wants to win the camera bag, just go into the comments, leave us a comment. If you've been to Photoshop world, tell us what Photoshop world means to you. Uh, if you have any questions about Photoshop world. Uh, go ahead and ask in the in the chat. And speaking of that, um, somebody was asking. Chuck was asking, "Do you recommend the I'm new or I'm solo? Forget the name of that button and co-mingle with other thing." <laughs> okay. And so so maybe we, we can talk about we that. We have this thing called dinner with a stranger, and this is for people who are at Photoshop World by themselves. A lot of people come and it's just them, right? They didn't bring a friend or a family member. It's just them. And so what we we put together the very first night is you, we have a board and you say, all right, I want Chinese food, I want pizza, I want whatever. You pick the restaurant and then you get a button and the little button says, it's a red button that says, I'm a stranger. You go to the restaurant at the time that you chose and you look for other people that have a button on that says, I'm a stranger and you all have dinner together and then you've met all these people and then for the rest of the conference, you're like, hey, remember dinner the other night? You know, People tell me that they've made friends not just at that dinner for the conference, but they made friends for like a lifetime oh, yeah. from that dinner. I've been to those dinners. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. They're a lot of fun. Uh, just look for someone with the button that says, I'm a stranger. Here's the interesting thing. If you go to the restaurant and someone's not wearing a button, those actually are strangers. Only talk to people wearing a red button that says, I'm a stranger. And anyway, it's, it's just a way to kind of make some friends. And everybody that's at that dinner is there by themselves. They're all Stranger, so stranger danger. 
All right. Well, and, good and, people come and, to Photoshop speaking World. Speaking of uh, somebody who was a stranger to Photoshop World, be, went to Photoshop World, then became a Guru Award winner, and now teaching classes. We're going to hear from him right now. Yeah, good segue. Good segue. When I heard about Photoshop World, I thought it was the coolest thing because I'm a big Photoshop geek, and I had no idea that it was in existence. So once I once I went. I was blown away by it and I submitted to the Guru Awards and I had no thought that I would be even placing in it because I see great Photoshop all the time and I was blown away when I actually won the Guru Award Best of Show. It was incredible, like just completely blew my mind. This makes me feel so wonderful inside because I feel like I was able to show people my work that had never seen it before. And now I'm able to actually help others to create work that they can show other people and hopefully can help you win awards, can help you find new things in your life that, are, that you can appreciate. Kelby One has been tremendous and just been really supportive of what I've been doing. And the amazing thing is that now I'm teaching a class. It's crazy. Who who knew? It's been so great, and this has been a wonderful experience. How I describe Photoshop World to a friend, I would say a great place to gather, learn, and get to know people who are passionate about something you're passionate about as well. Amazing. It's definitely fun. You get to meet a lot of new people. We also learn just amazing things with photography and graphic design. The books, the resources, everything that's available, it just really makes your creativity flourish. The biggest photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom conference anywhere, and it's coming this summer to Orlando. It's the world's most famous instructors sharing their latest techniques. It's more than 80 classes on everything from landscape photography to portrait photography, from flash and studio lighting to the business side of things. It's live shoots, hands-on workshops, it's Photoshop classes, Lightroom classes, it's vendors with show specials, it's community, it's inspiration, and it's three days where you learn more than you have in three years. Go to PhotoshopWorld.com right now to get your tickets. Hey, we're back. Yeah, we're back. I got a, I got a question for Scott. Okay. It comes from uh, Steve. Steve's asking you, I would like to know Scott's favorite part of Photoshop World. Oh, uh, Steve, uh, it's easy for me. I, I've been to every Photoshop World. I've been to them all. My favorite part is meeting everybody. Uh, honestly, it's, it's, we have kind of an, an interesting job, right? So just like today, we're doing a webcast. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of our job is that. But when you actually get to meet everybody and you see people's names that you've seen online and you see their, and you're like, oh, I mean, it is, a, it is a lot of fun getting to connect with the people that you do it for. You know, it's like, I love people. I'm a people person. It's why I like to photograph people. And so for me, the best part of Photoshop world is meeting everybody. And I, and I do, I meet everybody. Uh, we have this community lounge where we hang out in. And I literally just take my laptop and I'm working on my classes and getting ready and just in the middle of everybody. And you meet people from all over. You meet people from all over the world. Uh, you meet people with, I want to hear everybody's stories. It's just a lot of fun. I think the, there's a lot of fun at Photoshop World. I know, I know we're there for the training. I understand it's, it, and, and there's, there's like 80 classes. There's plenty of training, but I think it's, there is something to making new friends and having Photoshop buddies you can call mm -hmm. and having photographers that you can call on and just like I made friends at Photoshop World and then if I go to their country or something, I'll drop them a note and say, hey, I'm going to be in wherever and the next thing you know, we're out shooting together and stuff. And that kind of connection, it, it doesn't so much happen online as it does in person. And I think when you when you meet someone at Photoshop World and you make that connection, it's, it's, it's the best place to make friends. It's the best place to make friends. You all are, like, you're in it oh, together. Yeah. And yet there is a great, I don't want to say it's a family feeling, but it kind of feels like that. It's a, it's a very yeah, intimate, heard, for heard, a big show, it's very intimate. People, I heard a lot of people, and, I, and we're hearing from a lot of people saying that same thing. So uh, one of the events, um, like you talk about, is uh, the meetup, because that kind of plays into what you're talking about. So what, what is the meetup? Oh, so... Um, the night before it starts, we, it's just an informal gathering where all the instructors, all of our staff, we all just go to a bar. 
It's right there in the hotel. And literally, we just hang out and make friends. And, and we want to do this at the very beginning because we want people to connect. And we'll have a, a lot of people get connected that first night. And I, when I say connected, not in the bad way, like, hey, <laughs> it's like, how you doing? Not that kind of hookup. But a lot of people do meet. And, <laughs> and a lot of people will meet online, like they're, they're, they'll yep. be in the Kelby One community. And they're talking back and oh, yeah. forth. And then they're meeting at the meetup that night. I mean, it, it, it is a very, it used to be called the tweet up, you know, until Twitter became so toxic. That <laughs> now it's yeah. just like, no, we'll leave the tweet part off. It was that the first year. Yeah, now yeah, it's just a meetup. Yeah. And it's just a fun, friendly evening. We're just basically, and I just go around and meet people. And that's all we do is just that's say hi do, to yeah. everybody. And, it's, and you know meet what else? Up. There's people that come, like, like the gentleman had been eight years in a row. Yep. Uh, you see people year after year, and I only see them at Photoshop World, and you're like, hey, you know, so it's, I, I don't know. I think the meetup is a, it's a great way to get ready for the conference, and it, it's just, it's about meeting people. That's my oh, yeah. favorite part, so yeah. I love the meetup. And uh, sp speaking of, you know, you can, you're talking about connecting with people. You had an interesting uh, story uh, last couple weeks ago. We were in your office. You got a letter in the mail with a picture. Oh, I did. Right. And I, and I, I met and that, this woman. That was a big connection. Point, right. right. She's a teacher from the University of Wisconsin. And I met her at one of my seminars. And she showed me this picture where she made her Halloween costume. She made it Photoshop world. It was a world with Photoshop <laughs> logos all the way around. And she, and she gave me the shot. And she said it, it had such an impact on me. And, and what, what, number one, she has the greatest smile. She's the most awesome person. Uh, number two, I love that so many educators come to Photoshop World. That is mm -hmm. just awesome. Can I tell you a little story? I'm, I'm going to come back to, her name is Alyssa. I'm going to come back to her in just a second. But we were just talking before we went on the air. So our producer, uh, Christina over here, was just telling us she's been to six Photoshop Worlds. And you took students. She took students to Photoshop World. She was like, I was in Boston. I took a group of students. So I'm like... I didn't, I didn't know any of that, by the way. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't know that she had been. I thought the first Photoshop world she had been to was last year in Orlando when she started working with us. But she had been there as a, an educator. Yeah. There you go. So anyway, so now, so anyway, I met, I met Alyssa, and she, and she sent me this card last week. I come on my desk, and it's this. It was the most nice. It was just such a heartfelt card. And she wrote something in there, and she said, you know, it changed me you know, uh, as a photographer and designer and all, but it, 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 it helped me as a human being. And I hear that so often. And I was like, I, I wrote her a note and said, can I put this on my blog? Because, you know, we tell people about yep. Photoshop world, but it's different when you hear from someone that was really there and really experienced it. And they're just saying, this is just her being nice, just a thank you card. And I was like, and she sent me a picture that she and I took at my book signing at the, at the bookstore, yep. at the official Photoshop world bookstore. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, I remember her. I met her at my seminar. I met her at Photoshop World, of course. Anyway, but she's awesome. Well, and let's hear from her directly. Yeah. So yeah. Eric got her a video. Here we go. So let's hear from her. Hey, guys, we're here with another Photoshop World alumni. We've got Alyssa on the line. Hey, Alyssa, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Oh, great, great. Me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. So let me ask you, how many times have you been to Photoshop World? Uh, my first time to Photoshop World was this last year uh, in Orlando. Oh, awesome. So, you, so you're, you've been to Orlando last year. You know what it's like in Orlando. Um, let me ask you, starting out, what was your favorite thing about Photoshop World? I, I don't know if it's possible to pick a favorite <laughs> part. Um, yeah. It was just fantastic to have the opportunity to um, to meet Scott Kelby and Joe McNally and sit in on uh, Lindsay Adler's classes. There's, uh, I, I can't pinpoint a favorite moment because it was all spectacular content and I felt like I was on top of the world. Cool. Well, you know, uh, bef you know um, what, do you, what do you feel like you got out of Photoshop world? What did you get out of it? Um, there are so many things. I think the biggest thing is that um, it was kind of this life-changing conference for me. Um, I, my boss had said, you know, we really need to send you to Photoshop world. And I'm like, okay, all right. And, um, I was kind of surprised that she wanted to. And when we got the paperwork going and we booked everything, I was like, wow, this is really happening. And I think the thing that was the most powerful for me is, um, I met, I met these people that are the top in the industry that this is their, this is their thing. This is what they do every day. And 
I learned so much. And not only that, but it was a confirmation of, okay, I am doing several things right, but there's so much more that I can learn and grow from. And that these people are here, like you're, you're sitting 12 feet away from Scott Kelby and he's teaching you uh, the things that work, that are, that are, that what's popular in the industry right now, what, what works well. And um, I don't, you can't put a price tag on that. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that's cool. Um, so, you know, obviously, so your, your, your boss, uh, you know, wanted to send you, uh, were there any other obstacles, uh, for you to, that prevented you from coming in the past or, you know, things you had to get by that you, you, um, were able to overcome? Well, this was the first, it was the first year and opportunity that I had to go to Photoshop world. So it was a big deal. And, um, the biggest obstacle that I personally had was that, um, I'm terrified of flying and I hadn't been on a plane in like 10 years. And so for me to get on that plane was a big deal. And I had made a Facebook post to just a handful of people before I got on the plane and I was so nervous. And, um, one of the things that my boss said that got me through that flight was that, Scott Kelby and Joe McNally, Dave Cross and Lindsay Adler are just on the other side waiting for you. You just have to get there. And that really helped. And um, that, that might be a goofy thing to say, but like I hadn't, I had turned down photographing weddings before I had, you know, turned down other opportunities to go photograph things because of my fear of that. And so to be able to actually get to Orlando for the conference, like that was the biggest, that was the biggest personal feat for me. So that was a big deal. Well, now, now that you've gone through that, was it worth it? Oh, heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yes, Very cool. absolutely. Um, so coming to Photoshop world, how did it make you feel? Very empowered, very empowered. Um, I wanted to learn all these different things and all the different things that I had questions about. I could ask questions about or they were answered or things that I thought, you know, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this well or if I have the right equipment. They were answered within minutes of just sitting in on a class. So that was really cool. Yeah. So um, now that you've been once, uh, would you recommend Photoshop World to a friend? Um, yes. And I have for the last year. <laughs> Everyone has probably heard me talk about this conference more times than they can count. Um, yes, if, if you want to go, if you are uh, nervous to go, if you are hesitating, just sign up and go. It'll be the best investment you will ever, ever make. The, the content, the value is worth it just from the instructors alone. But you meet people, you have conversations. There's, it, it's like every photographer's dream world. I mean, it's just, I cannot recommend it enough. Very cool. Um, any other highlights, things that really stuck out to you about Photoshop World? I, I mean, there's so there's so many moments that I can't even like elo eloquently put them into words. I think um, just meeting these people that I admire so much meant the world to me. Um, one of the things that had a huge impact on my life over the last year was um, we were in the keynote and Scott Kelby said, you know, you really need to print your photos. And uh, I I sat there thinking about it. I'm like, I don't have photos printed. He said, those are your backups. Those photos that you, um, that you have, they're your backup because if your backup, the technological backup that you have, if it, if it stops working, the printed is what you have. And so I've really taken that to heart and started to print photos over the last year and, and tried to make that part of what I do. Um, so that's, that's been a big thing. Oh, and I'll tell you, that really resonated with me as well, because, you know, I know that, uh, you know, last year when I heard that and I heard this, I was at the keynote, too, hearing that same speech. And, uh, you know, uh, say what you will about uh, what my parents did, but they had the shoebox and uh, yep. that shoebox is always is always there. And we can always pull out the shoebox. And, and my wife's parents, they have the, the photo albums and they have tons of photo yeah. albums. And um, we've started to do that even in our own lives. Uh, me and my wife, yeah, you know, really taking that to heart and uh, starting to print out yeah. more and um, starting to even print big because that's another yes. thing I've been into this year is printing a lot of uh, photos of us. Uh, like I printed a big canvas this year uh, for my wife for office, for me for my office, you know, um, just printing 
that's a big thing. So yeah, <laughs> awesome, very cool. Well, I, I really appreciate you coming on. I really appreciate you telling your, your story, your Photoshop world experience with people. And um, I hope to see you again at Photoshop world and we can uh, keep on printing together. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Thank you guys for uh, giving people the opportunity to go to this conference. I It's incredibly valuable and what a wonderful experience for, for folks of all ages and abilities with photography, graphic design, and you name it. All right. Well, thanks, Alyssa. And um, we're going to head back to the webcast now and uh, check in with uh, Scott. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Well, we're back. And I got a question for Scott here. It comes from Deb. Uh, Deb's asking, Scott, uh, do we pre-register for classes over the three days? I don't. I just go to any class I want. No, no. You do not have to pre-register. Uh, I think that's a kind of a cool thing because... You know, there's these multiple tracks running. You go to a class, and if you go, oh, this wasn't what I thought it would be, or this is too beginner for me, or this is too advanced for me, whatever, you just get up and go to the next class over. So, yeah, there's no pre-registration. There's plenty of seats. We keep the rooms with lots of seats in them. So, uh, yeah, you can come and go as you please. Yeah, no, no pre-registration. You have to register for the conference, of course, but once you're in, go in any class you want. You don't have to, like, sign up or anything like that. Awesome. And as, So, Diana uh, Van Horn saying... Uh, the registration fee kept me from going for years, but after I went for the first time in 2012 and saw firsthand how fabulous the event was, I haven't hesitated to go again. Well worth the investment, even for a non-professional. So, Yay, Diana. Definitely. Thank you. And then John Young saying, uh, I had such a good experience at Photoshop World in Orlando last year. Coming from the UK, it's a bit of a commitment, but also um, as a professional, it's so with Wild. Uh, it was informative and inspirational. Highlights included Joe, uh, Lindsay Adler, Dave Black, Joe McNally. Uh, hopefully be there again next year. So, John, you, you didn't come to my class? <laughs> <laughs> come on, John, I'm teaching every day. And look at Larry Becker has a comment. Hey, so LB. Larry Becker, who, uh, LB. he's one of the MC, MCs of the event and also uh, hosts that uh, And first an timer. instructor. He's, and he's teaching. an instructor. He's teaching. Uh, it says, my brother's boss uh, balked at him going to Photoshop World for two or three years. He finally went to, uh, finally got to go. Two weeks after he got back from, um, to work, his boss said, man, you have been so incredibly productive since you got back. When is next, next uh, Photoshop world? You're definitely going back. So yeah, really cool. Uh, and speaking of- uh, Oh, Tim Wallace. Well, maybe you want to read Tim's comment? I would love to read yeah. Tim's comment. So Tim is one of our instructors at Photoshop World. Mm -hmm. He's a Kelby One instructor, and he is literally one of the world's best transportation photographers. Mm -hmm. So he shoots high-end luxury cars, airplanes, yachts and stuff, literally one of the best in the world and one of the greatest guys. Uh, Tim says, Photoshop World, it is simply the best place you can visit to be surrounded by like-minded people who truly love photography and creating great work. Uh, in essence of being there, uh, means you're part of a special family. It's quite possibly the only, the only event in the world where such an amazing mix of raw talent and enthusiasm, well, I didn't understand that, Nick. raw talent and enthusiasm to learn without lots of people trying to sell you something. You attend, you learn, you make friends, you hopefully come away inspired. No brainer, really. So see you there. Yeah, Tim will be there this yeah. year. And you I know, love Tim. And that's one, of the, the, one yeah. of the best guys and, in yeah, our industry. Definitely. And his classes are always awesome. You know, very cool. I th he's doing actually a pre-con on uh, uh, business stuff. You know, yeah. The Tim's business stuff is awesome. Yeah. He gives you stuff. I mean, if, you, if you're thinking of, I want to make a living in photography, I want to sell my work, I want to get client work. He will tell you stuff that you can only learn from Tim. He has a way of putting it that people come out of there and they're like, Oh, yeah. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> I mean, they, they really, they're affected well, by his stuff. Not only it's... I'm going to be rich, they actually do get that. And uh, just in a little bit, we're going to talk to Dave. And Dave uh, talked about that very thing from Tim Wallace's business class. You see? Yep. See? Told so you. It is true. He's not just saying it. No, I hear it, so, I hear it all the time. It. In fact, what, what happened was he taught a one-hour class. Mm -hmm. And the people that went to that class... In there, like, like this needs to be longer. One hour is not enough, and that's why he's doing a whole workshop on it. Yeah, it's like people say, like, I made money during the class. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I changed my website during the class and made money. Um, so, anyways, uh, but we uh, we have somebody. We have Mark here. Uh, Mark's going to talk about his Photoshop world experience. Mark's been coming for multiple decades to Photoshop World. Wow. 
I remember when I first attended Photoshop World 16 or 17 years ago. I had already fallen in love with the program and I wanted to learn more, and it was recommended that I go. When I went, I saw all these great instructors on stage, and I had found a new place to learn with a whole group of peers. My community was strong, and I was deep in it. As I learned more, I applied those things to my career, and within my industry, I continued to grow. Fast forward to today, and I've contributed articles to Kelby One, and now I even have a course online. It's surreal to think that I was a kid sitting in the front row watching Scott Kelby talk about layer styles and type effects, to suddenly today I was sitting on the grid with Scott answering questions and having a casual conversation. You know, it made me realize how grounded the Kelby community is and how real world this is. Ultimately, we're all trying to do creative things and share in these tools and expand our knowledge. I can certainly say I've come full circle. All right, so how cool is that? You know? It is cool, but can I tell you something about Mark Heap's little known thing? Mm -hmm. Excellent bass player. Well, and if you came to Photoshop World last year, you would know that. Yeah, so we do this private party and my band plays the party. And uh, so we, we decided we would do a set, then we would take a break, and then we would come back and we would do an instructor jam session. And we had instructors that and musicians come up on stage and play. He's a killer bass player. He is so, so good. I was like, wow. You know who else? Big surprise. Kelby One instructor. Frank Dorhoff. Frank got up there and shredded. Sam Haddix, Sam mm -hmm. went to the Berkeley yep. School of Music. Rick Salmon, Berkeley School of Music. How many people that are great photographers are also great musicians? Oh, yeah. We bring them up on stage. We're doing it again this year at the party. We're going to bring oh, yeah. up uh, some instructors to play. Yeah, so uh, I got a question for you, Scott, uh, from uh, John's asking. Can you tell us about the portfolio reviews? Do you have to sign up for that? Okay, John, yes. You, you, you do have to sign up for the portfolio reviews. It's a 15-minute block, just you and an instructor. And you know you're you're paired up with an instructor that's right for you. So if you're you know doing uh, automotive, you would be paired up with Tim or you know, whoever's in. I'm not sure who's doing the portfolio reviews. It's a whole group of people. I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. It's a group of instructors. But you're meeting with instructors and experts that are in that genre. We do charge for this. We didn't used to. We used to make it free. But what happened was people didn't show up for their time slot. They mm -hmm, signed up for a yeah. time slot and they're having fun off someplace they wouldn't show up. We charge just a little bit of money, everybody shows up, everybody. We don't make any money on it. All those instructors have to be paid. It's not a money-making thing, but 100%, 100% participation. But can you think about it? When, when you talk about people paying $300 and $500, it's nothing like that. It's nothing. It's like 50 bucks. It's something. I don't know. It's very cheap. It's very inexpensive. But what it is, is you're one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm telling you what, when I look back on my career and think, what are the most impactful things? And I had some, I had some harsh ones. For my portrait photography, I sat with Joe McNally. Mm -hmm. Joe was like, what's this doing in your portfolio? I'm like, I really like this. He's like, it's crap. I'm like, okay, it's gone, you know? Uh, Dave Black, I sat yep. with Dave Black about my sports yep. photography, and we went through an entire take from yep. a baseball game, and Dave's like. So anyway, but the good thing was, those were some of the most impactful those things. Those are, you gotta hear from those people, yeah. And you know what it is? The, the instructors that we have in there, they, they're professionals at critiquing. They're there to, to help you grow, to make you better. They're not gonna go, your stuff's crap. Those guys, they were personal friends of mine, so they tell me, Scott, this stuff's crap. But they won't do that to you. <laughs> they will go and really help you and guide you and mold you in the right direction. So uh, uh, Kathy was asking too for those portfolio reviews, do you bring them on an iPad? Uh, you can bring them on an iPad, you can bring them in print. Uh, don't show them on your phone because your images won't have any impact this big, but a lot of people do bring them on an iPad. Some people will bring a laptop and show them off their, their website. Some people will bring a fully printed portfolio. Uh, it's really not about the medium so much, but I will tell you as someone that does those reviews from time to time, I love print. If you bring a print, I like it before you even showed it to me. I just, I have such a passion for print that, that if you bring it, I'm like, what? Too. Yeah. yeah, that was my talk during the uh, keynote. The yeah. keynote was that the importance and the power of the print. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about the keynote when we get back. Uh, we got Alan uh, sent us a video. He's a community leader over at Kelby One. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, sent us a video about that his Alan. experience. I went to Photoshop World for the first time last year, and I had a blast. There were so many courses, it was kind of hard to choose, but I learned so much about photography and Photoshop and Lightroom, and I met tons of great people in the classes and at the events. Uh, the instructors were super approachable and really friendly, 
And just the whole event was such an intense and fun experience. And that's why I'm going back again this year. So Scott, we were talking about the, the keynote. So the keynote hosted by, or brought to by, or brought by Adobe. You yes. Know? So, so tell we, us about it. Yeah, we start. We kick off the conference. So the first morning of the conference, we have a big keynote, and it, it, it's it's something that we take very seriously. We invest a lot of time and emotion into. Um, we make it a lot of fun. It is a, mm -hmm. a lot of fun. We pick a theme, and we don't reveal the theme until you're at the conference. We pick a theme, and we we do an opening movie, and we have some surprises, and we just it's it's we want you to know from the very beginning we're going to learn. Adobe's going to do a whole presentation but you are really there to enjoy yourself. We're, we're all there to have fun because here's why. If you're laughing, if you're having fun, if you're enjoying yourself, we know that you will learn more. They've done study after study. If you're laughing and you're engaged in stuff, you will, you will literally learn more. You're more creative when it's happening. You're more opening to learn, to, to learn new things. So while we are doing serious stuff, we do it in a really fun way. And that keynote lets you know you're in for fun, you're in for learning, you're in for laughter. And we're very excited this year from Adobe Systems, uh, our keynote speaker, Terry White. Yeah. So Terry was the first keynote speaker at Photoshop World ever in 1999. What an honor it is for him at the 20th anniversary to have Terry years, be our yeah. keynote. So we're later. very, very excited. Yeah, very cool. Well, hey, um, I know, uh, Scott, you've got you to get, right? I have to go pick up my daughter from school. We generally end after an hour, so I kind of planned it, So, but we are running over, and that's okay. I'm going to turn things over to Eric. Don't forget to give away this bag. I'm going to move we, it over here so you will bag. not forget it. Uh, I have to go pick up my daughter from school. However, <laughs> I do want to thank everybody who shared your comments. You know, on the breaks while those videos have been playing, I've been looking at your comments uh, on my Facebook page and uh, such great comments. Thank you for everybody that's been before that wrote such great comments in here. Uh, mm -hmm. It is so, we, we put so much into this show. Uh, it means a lot to us as a company. We don't hire a management company to run this show for us. We run it ourselves. We literally clear out the Kelby One headquarters and we all go to either Orlando or Las Vegas. Vegas. And uh, it, it is something that our entire staff looks forward to all year oh, long. Yeah. It really is. It's so much fun for us. We really look forward to meeting you. And I'll be there. Eric will be there. All your favorite Kelby instructor, Kelby One instructors will be there. It'll be a ton of fun. And I want to welcome everybody who will be joining us either in Orlando or Vegas. I, I would just say uh, I would sign up now, especially for Orlando, because last year at the Hyatt, we sold out the entire hotel. So mm -hmm. every room was gone, and people at the end had to wind up staying in other places and hotels down the street. You want to have that experience where you come down the elevator, you open the doors, and there's yeah, Photoshop it's not World. The full experience if you don't do that. Yeah, and you want to be right there in the middle of everything. And if you had to run to your room for something, you're 30 seconds away. So instead of having to get in your car and go someplace, so and the, and get did, your rooms. The, the Hyatt is almost. Sold out. Yeah, it's I mean, almost getting sold out. there. So you really need to sign up if you're interested. Sign up now. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, now, the Mirage in Las Vegas, they've got plenty of rooms. It's the Mirage. They have thousands and thousands and thousands of rooms. Mm -hmm. So you're probably not in as big a rush for the Mirage. But if you're going to Vegas, stay at the Mirage. That's the place to stay. We got a discount for you. Same thing in Orlando. We have a discount for you. Go to the Photoshop World webpage, to our travel page. There's a discount mm -hmm. link so you know you're going to save money. Same thing in Vegas. There's no, there's no reason to stay anyplace else because you want to. Oh, by the way, interesting note. Eric and I timed it. From the time that mm -hmm. you come out of the elevator to you're in the convention center in Vegas at our new location, less than two minutes, like a minute and 58 mm -hmm. seconds from the elevator to the can you're right there. And you know where that came from? That came from Orlando with the Hyatt. We did that same thing where we heard from back from a lot of people that said, I just wish the event was closer to where I was staying, right? So we actually went and scouted and, and designed. So when we went back to uh, Vegas, yeah. That was one Same of our thing. conditions, is we wanted it to be like we did, like we found in Orlando. Yep, we moved from the convention center in Orlando to the Hyatt, so it would be more convenient, and it worked out amazingly well. So now that we know when we choose a new site, we timed it. Because <laughs> at the Mandalay we Bay, we walked it twice. And we were, were like, ten years. <laughs> we were ten years at the Mandalay Bay, and we loved it. They were great to us, and they were great to our attendees. 
but the walk from the elevator to the convention center could be a full 20 it was, minutes. We timed it. It was 15 to 22 minutes. 15 to 22 minutes, depending on what year it was and where we were in the hall. Yep, yep. That's a long way to go. So if every time you said, I need to run to my room for something, you're like, 22 minutes to my room, get the stuff, yep. 22 minutes back. I'm gone for an hour. And you're like... Not in Orlando and not in Vegas this year. So we're very excited about both venues. We know the Hyatt Rocks. And I, I predict, it's my prediction, mm -hmm. the Mirage will be the best venue we've ever had for Photoshop World. And the Mirage is rolling out the red carpet for our folks, so we're excited about that. Cool. Now I really have to well, go pick up my dog. He has to go, but uh, <laughs> while he gets out of here, we're going to flip over to Dave. Uh, Dave has a great thing. Uh, he, Photoshop World is for everyone. We've talked about that. Um, even people who have interesting genres of photography. So let's hear from Dave. Well, hey guys, we're here with another Photoshop World alumni. We have Dave on the line. Um, Dave has been to uh, a couple Photoshop Worlds. And uh, hey, Dave, welcome, uh, welcome on the show. Thanks, it's good to be here. Yeah, so uh, we just want to talk to you about your Photoshop World experience. Um, you know, I know you've been uh, two times, right? That's right. Yep. And you're coming for a third time this year, right? That's correct. I'll be in Orlando uh, in May. So yeah, so you're coming back. So let me ask you, um, when you, before you came to Photoshop World, you know, uh, were there any obstacles that prevented you from coming? Uh, prevented me from coming? Yeah. Um, I, a large part of it was I didn't, before I came, I didn't really understand the value of it. Um, there was a cost association with the travel and stuff, so I wasn't sure if I would get a lot of the benefit um, out of it. That uh, the, the we wouldn't get the benefit out of it based on the uh, the energy it took to get there. Mm -hmm. um, that proved to be um, it is well worth it, but um, that was the that was the thing at first. Is like I don't know if it's worth it. Um, it's a conference. It's a bunch of people. I'm not really a people person. Um, is it really worth it? Um, and I spoke to some people actually, Mark Rodriguez, um, who's uh, was involved uh, heavily with uh, Photoshop World as a um, uh, uh, contributor, uh, or like a uh, he's yep. been there as a as a attendee, and now he's I think he's doing a photo booth. Uh, he did one yeah, he's doing day. another one this year, I believe. Yeah, so. yeah. I um, mean, he's a he's a friend of mine, and I talked to him about what it was about, and um, and the things that he got out of it, and then based on that, I decided I'd take a chance and go for it, and it turned out to be a very wise decision on my part. Well, definitely. I mean, obviously, right? I mean, it's kind of a silly question because you're coming for the third time. But yeah. I just want, you know, people to understand that, you know, I think that that's one of the things that um, is a limiting factor and an obstacle is you don't really know, like, is this really worth it? So that's why we wanted to have people on really to talk about um, their experience. Um, so what when, when it comes to Photoshop world, what do you get out of Photoshop world? What has you coming three times for the third time back? What do you get out of it? Um, generally speaking, I get several things out of it. Um, one, Photoshop world is full of people who are of like mind. Um, they're all photographers, they're all there to learn. And the, the usually the people who are attending that I've met have been um, eager, the instructors are eager. So just being around people who are like minded mm -hmm. um, is a great way to kind of boost your energy and boost your motivation um i'm a photographer i don't pro i'm not a professional photographer um i have a day job um and i do it on the side as a hobby uh but coming out of photoshop world these last two times i've been just having that feeding off that energy has been hugely valuable for um getting my creative juices flowing and being able to produce more work um and at the same time i'm exposed to different aspects of photography uh because of the instructors, there's like a wide range of things to do, uh, like wide range of topics. Um, none of the photography that I do really fits those topics because I, I do I shoot toys um, as that's my main uh, um, muse, I guess. Um, and there's no classes on shooting toys, but there are a lot of classes on how to pose people. There are classes on business. There are classes on how to do composite um, and all those things. Um, and the thing that I really I think learned from Photoshop World from a general concept is that all the lessons that you learn from various things kind of apply to my work in some way. So having the ability to talk to uh, somebody who's expert at posing and talking to an expert at, at composite work, really, I can use all those features, even though it's not directly what they're teaching. Um, like I don't have a live model in front of me to 
that I need to pose, but I need to pose an action figure. Uh, so if you put the two together, um, it really expands my knowledge and the things that I think about when I do a shoot, and it just makes my work a bit better. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? So I'm a, I'm definitely a big fan of your work. I, I, it really connects with me, uh, partly because sure. a lot of the stuff that you shoot uh, tends to be uh, relate to how I grew up, you know, my childhood, you know, things like uh, Star Wars, Ghostbusters. I've seen you do different things like that that really connects. And I'm in the same boat. Um, I don't shoot anything that really there's there's ever been a class on or classes on uh, with, uh, I mainly shoot rocket and space flight photography. And, um, but the things that I learn, I'm like you, um, the things that I learn, I can apply. And um, that's what's so important about it. You might not have a genre that you're like, oh, uh, but everything that I'm learning there, I've been able to apply. And I think that's the same thing you're talking about with your toy photography, you know, that exactly. you're able to apply that. And, and that's invaluable. Um, uh, in advancing your work and, and getting you to think outside the box. So, yeah. yeah. And because you're not used to things like posing, I may not even think to ask the question of what should I do or what shouldn't I do. Um, and like, so that's one of the things that the first time I was there, I took uh, one of the, I think it was Lizzie, uh, Lindsay Adler's class. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, but it was, she was just talking about different ways of posing people. And it never really occurred to me um, that it would actually apply to my work or even some of the things that she covered. I wouldn't even have thought to ask the question of should I look into this farther? So just, just having that, just having somebody who's really experienced at one thing, talk about that one thing and really also seeing how they work. Um, cause sometimes the value isn't just, I'm learning posing. It's also how does the person who's teaching me work? Um, and Kelby is really great at getting instructors that are not only knowledgeable, but they're very good at explaining their process as well as the technical side of things. And there's a lot of value in seeing how experts actually perform their craft on top of just the rules that they follow. Very cool, awesome. Well, um, uh, kind of a, on the flip side, so uh, you know, we talk about the events, we talk about that, but really at the end of the day, uh, when you talk about the feeling, like when you show up to Photoshop World, how does coming to Photoshop World make you feel? Um, makes me feel um, excited, actually. Um, large part for all the reasons that uh, that I mentioned. Uh, it's it's an, it's it makes me feel that I'm going to learn something. I don't necessarily know what it is yet, um, but it, there's that anticipation that there will be energy in the in the conference, and there'll be um, skills that I acquire along the way. And just just knowing, like when I walk in the door, when I sign up for the Photoshop world, those are the things I'm anticipating. Um, is that I'll, I'll I'll walk I'll when I show up after three days, I'll walk away with uh, being smarter uh, about my my photography, and I'll also be, have that energy to um, uh, to jump in and do the imply those things and uh, drive my work forward more. Uh, the last two times, it was always I left the conference and I couldn't wait to get back to my studio to start trying out the new techniques that I, I learned in the sessions and use that energy that I built up over those few days to kind of plow it into my work and uh, see what I could make of it. That's awesome. Well, hey, so you've been, you, you, this is going to be your third time, so I'm, I'm going to guess that you would recommend coming to Photoshop World to a friend. So if you're going to recommend that to a friend, why would you recommend them to come to Photoshop World? Um, I guess it's kind of along the same lines is that um, showing up, you're going to be spending a time with a bunch of people who do the, um, who are on the same journey as you are. Um, and you'll be spending time with instructors, both in the classroom settings, but a lot of the instructors are also available um, at other times during this, the, uh, during the conference um, to learn from people who are top of their game. Um, not only the top of the game, but they're also accessible and willing to teach. Um, they're not there just for the money. They're there because they want to share their information and their knowledge. Um, and all of that together um, just, it just creates an atmosphere that um, is just energizing. Um, and uh, you'll probably learn a few things along the way, but um, you would, well, you definitely learn a few things along the way, but it's it's really the the energy and the focusing that you get that really for me is the the win. Awesome. 
Well, hey, is there any other highlights that you, you know, thinking about Photoshop World, any other highlights, any other events you'd like to share with people um, about Photoshop World specifically? Um, well, I did have an experience. Um, the first Photoshop World I went to, I uh, took a, a session, uh, Tim Wallace's uh, session on, uh, was on business and photography. It was like a, an hour session about uh, doing invoicing and what uh, various terms for production photography uh, mean when it comes to uh, licensing and uh, copyrights and and usage rights and how to invo invoice that and present yourself more professionally. And at the time, I have no thoughts um, of doing anything professionally for work or for like for photography. Um, and I was contacted by uh, Lego Dimensions, uh, which being a toy photographer is kind of like the holy grail of uh, of clients. And they asked me for a quote for doing some photos for the Instagram page. And I recall specifically um, that course that Tim, t Tim taught. And I went back through my notes that I took during that course. And I uh, used that as a basis for presenting or writing up my proposal and setting up all the terms and stuff that I was happy with. Um, and I even uh, emailed Tim and asked him a couple of clarifying questions about copyright and how you, how you write that in your invoice. Um, and uh, because of that specific course, um, I was able to um, land the uh, the account with Lego, uh, which was fantastically, um, that was like a highlight of my uh, photography career so far. And it's really all thanks to Tim. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's a great story. And I love hearing that. Well, hey, thanks, Dave, for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't, you know, if toy photography sounds like, what is that? You got to go check out Dave's work. So uh, we'll definitely uh, we'll share that. But Dave, thanks for coming on. And um, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to us about Photoshop World. Sounds great. And I'll see you in uh, May in Orlando. I'll see you in May. Well, I just love that story. I love that, uh, you know, about uh, uh, getting so much out of Photoshop World, even it not being, uh, it's, it's Photoshop World's for everybody. And um, uh, that was one of the questions that was asked here was, uh, Catherine was talking about, uh, would you get more out of the conference if you had a few years of uh, photography experience? And um, I think the, an the answer would be, like, like um, Dave was saying there, it's for everybody. Um, it doesn't matter what you're, which, what you're into, what styles you're into, uh, you can get something out of Photoshop World even at every stage uh, of your photography journey. So, um, you know, the one thing that we, we have people, you know, a lot of people that come locally to Photoshop World, but we have people come from all around the world to travel in for Photoshop World, and we wanted to hear from one of them, so uh, we're going to go listen to one of their stories. Hey, we're here with another uh, Photoshop World attendee talking about uh, their experience at Photoshop World. I have uh, Fernando here. Hey, Fernando, how's it going? Hi, Eric, how are you doing? Great, great. So, hey, we want to talk about your Photoshop World experience. I know that... Um, you've been before, but um, yeah. before we start, how many times have you been to Photoshop World? I've been twice. Okay, this year cool. will be my third time. All right, so, so you're row. coming this year, third time yes. in a row. Um, yes. Let me ask you, um, have you been to other conferences? And if you have, how does Photoshop World compare to other conferences? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from the IT industry, and I, I have over 30 years in the IT. So I've been to many, many conferences in, in IT, also many of them in the U.S. I remember the time when we had Comdex in Vegas, and I've been to Comdex several times. And um, Photoshop World is totally different. It's, it's not about the products. It's about people and learning and getting motivated and and, and, and meeting people and making connections. It's totally different than just passing out business cards and, and sending out and, and attending rooms with, I don't know, thousands of people just for one keynote that um, it's not really that interesting. Photoshop world is totally different. It's, cool. it's very, very cool. That's why awesome. I, this is my third year in a row. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so um, before, you were, before you came, uh, what were the were there any obstacles that prevented you from coming? Oh yes, the the number one obstacle because I'm based in Portugal would ob obviously be um, the cost of going. Uh, you always have to think, well, should I spend the money on uh, traveling and 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 staying at the hotel and and spending like a week because it's not just for three or four days. It ends up being like a week event if you're traveling for 
this far away. And so I always got a little scared of, well, maybe I'm not getting uh, the return of my investment. Well, being this the third time in a row, <laughs> I guess that answers uh, my yeah, fears. Yeah, I mean, you, you answered the question because the follow-up for that is, did you, were you able to overcome it? So obviously you were, you're coming for your third time, right? Yep, so, exactly. Um, so what do you get out of Photoshop World? You're, you're, this is the third time you're coming back. What do you get out of it? Well, the first thing is that we really need to, I mean, for me and my photography, I really need to be always getting inspired somehow. So I, I listen to, whenever I'm, I'm commuting, I'm always listening to, to podcasts, um, photography podcasts. I'm, I'm trying to, to get motivated every single day because um, I, my photography is not about uh, making money to survive. My, my number one source of income is not in the photography. I do make money with photography, but it's something on the side. So let's say I could live without photography. But because there's always so many things going on in our lives, if we don't get motivated like every single day, uh, we end up losing our interest. And with that goes, um, you lose your, um, how do you say that? Um, you end up not, not learning as much because you're not that motivated. You don't go that extra step that you need to go to be really good. Um, and that's, that's one of the things that um, makes me go to Photoshop world is that I really need to get motivated and being with all these people around you that are just like you, um, this is, it's not re really easy to describe unless you experience that. It's, it's something very, very special. That's one of the reasons I go. And then um, I'm always wanting to learn more. Um, and Photoshop World has the best instructions there. And you can, there's, you hear all this um, um, advertising that Kelvy One does about how everyone is so approachable and you think, oh, come on, it's not like that. And suddenly you go there and you meet one of your favorite instructors down the hall and you can just chat and, and it's just like you guys say on, on, the, on the ads. It's it's very, very special event. Well, that's awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, and I, and I agree totally. I mean, that's, it is hard sometimes because, you know, and that's why, again, I wanted to have people on to really talk about their experience uh, because we could tell all we want about how, how we think about the event, how we feel it is. And, you know, people can look at them as ads. I mean, to us, this is just the reality of it. Um, this is the event we host for our members and this is the event you get to go to. So it is one thing that you're talking about, like, getting that experience to be one-on-one -on -one with people, getting immersed in that experience, um, that really is so beneficial uh, for your photography. So one of the things uh, I'd like to ask is, so specifically, what is your favorite thing about Photoshop World? One thing? Oh gosh, uh, I, I cannot tell just <laughs> one thing because there's so many things going on at the same time. It's like, um, you have all these uh, great instructors that you want to to hear right on the first row. You want to be the first one getting to know what they are telling this time. Um, and then you have all your friends that you end up meeting, well, sometimes on the Kelby One community. Other times you've met them before, but it's because the world is is just like one big small village. But in the end, you, it's the, the human interaction. It's not just doing it online. It's actually meeting the people and, and having fun with that. So that's, that's also another thing that I love. Um, and, but again, probably the most important to me is dedicating this uh, three or four or five days specifically to photography and being around all these creative people that share this, the same passion that I do. Um, that's probably the number one reason. Awesome. Um, so along those lines, uh, get more into the feelings. How does uh, coming to Photoshop World make you feel? Like you've been talking about the things and the and stuff, but how does it make you feel when you come to Photoshop World? Oh, well, um, well, first, I, I'm, I'm always very happy to be at Photoshop World. It's, uh, so it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel inspired. Um, it makes me want to do more. That's um, when, when, it, when I get out of Photoshop World, I, I came with all these new ideas in my mind and things that I want to do and try and experiment. And I always come with uh, a few new friends 
um, that I keep uh, in touch on a regular basis. Uh, I'm so sorry I cannot go to Orlando this time. Um, there's a big reason for me not going. Otherwise, uh, I would know if I could make it twice in the same year. Um, but I'm well, going to Vegas. That's a big commitment for you, too. Oh, yeah, yeah it the is. Two times to travel over the yeah. pond. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, one word, one word uh, answer question. Would you recommend Photoshop World to a friend? Absolutely. All right, so why would you recommend Photoshop World to a friend? Well, uh, it would be unfair not recommending to a friend if I'm going. It's yeah. like when you're experiencing something that they really enjoy, that you take value out of that and you're not telling a friend. I, I could say I'm not telling any competitor because I don't want them to be as good as me. Um, but for a friend, sure, uh, I'll recommend that. Awesome, awesome. Are there any other highlights about Photoshop World for you? Oh, any highlights. There, there's, it's like there's highlights every hour. It's like <laughs> it starts early in the morning. There's You have, well, the classes that, that keep you going all day long, um, uh, which because there are so many, the hard thing is picking um, the one that you, 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 you want to attend because there's usually more than one that you really want at the same time. And that's the only downside is that I wish there, I could be like in, in two different people. conferences. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that, that's certainly one of the highlights. But then there's fun. There's uh, Midnight Madness is, is a big thing. Um, I know that the room is usually not big enough for all those that want to go. Um, but if you're lucky enough to grab um, a ticket, um, Midnight Madness is very fun. Um, then there's the one night with, uh, and there's usually a very a very good speaker. I remember uh, the first my first Photoshop world. The one night with was with Stacy Purcell, and she she's an amazing speaker, and she had everyone in the audience laughing, and everyone was crying. So it's this roller coaster of emotion. So that's another big thing. Then there's the the the, the party um, and the keynote is just well. I don't know. There's so many things going on. This is this is not easy to describe. Honestly, it's not easy to describe. No, but that's it. I mean, that's what it is. It is one of those things like you're talking about where it's an event where there's so much to it that uh, beyond what you might see that when you come experience it. Uh, for yourself, you you understand it, and that's where it is hard. It is hard sometimes to get that message across, and that's where you're doing a, a great job about communicating that because that's really oh, how I feel. To. Well, that's how I feel too. I mean, it's one of those things that we we, we hear that time and time again. Uh, same stories that you're telling. So, well, Fernando, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, I well, really wish pleasure. you could be in Orlando too, but I totally understand your reasoning. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you in Vegas. And um, oh, sure. I really appreciate you coming on. Now we're going to get wait. back over to the uh, webcast. Yeah, sure. Well, thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Bye. -bye. Yeah. See ya. So in case you guys missed it, Scott isn't here. Uh, he had to go take his uh, daughter to sc or pick his daughter up from school. Uh, but we're still going. We got uh, the, a couple more people that have, uh, you know, um, joined us to give their stories. Uh, we're still going to be giving away this camera bag at the end of the show to somebody who's watching live. Um, so uh, leave your comments if you got any comments or questions uh, about Photoshop World. But um, one of the things you know that Fernando was talking about is you know traveling, and we totally know that uh, you know travel can be something that if we heard it can be a limiting thing. Um, but if you head over to the Photoshop World site, there's a travel section where you can look up airfares. You can look up uh, we got deals on the hotel, the host hotel. Um, check that out. Um, and let's hear from another longtime attendee uh, that's been at Photoshop World. Hey guys, here uh, we're here with another uh, Photoshop World alumni. We have Susan on the line. Hey Susan, how's it going? Good. Going great. Great. great, great. So we want to talk to you about your Photoshop World experience. Uh, uh, and how many times have you been to Photoshop World? Uh, 11 or 12. I've actually lost track. Yeah, so a lot, yeah. Um, you know, my question, my first question to you about Photoshop World is um, what, so you've been 12 time, what do, you, what do you get out of Photoshop World? Why do you keep on coming back? What do you get out of it? I, I learn so much every time. I tend to try to focus on one subject each year. Like this past year I did, I took all the classes on posing the year before, mm -hmm. on hiding. Uh, this year probably I'm gonna be looking at 
um, some of the advanced Photoshop and um, graphic design classes because I'm starting to do some of that for my job. Okay, cool. So, um, but, you know, right, rewinding the clock back to when you kind of maybe made that leap to come to your first one. Um, what were really the obstacles in your way to get you to actually come to your first one? Was there any obstacles? I wanted to know. Frozen here. I wanted to know more about Photoshop before I went because I thought I'd be pretty stupid. And so I watched every episode of the old Photoshop user TV. Yeah. Before I came to the first one. And then I realized I should have gone before that. Yeah, right. Isn't that well? And that's that's a that's a great point. I mean, that's one of the things with Kelby One, um, and even with the conference. You know that a lot of people do come in and say, "Well, it's you know it's going to be too advanced for me." Um, we have things for probably every. I mean, I you you agree that we have things kind of for everybody at every level. Yeah. Now, like the last couple of years, I put in the comments, I'd like to see more advanced classes. Yeah. But, so you're yeah, actually working the I, other way. <laughs> I would definitely say to anybody that there's classes for any level. Yeah, well, that's cool. Um, so, you know, when you come to Photoshop World, how do you really feel? How does it make you feel when you come to Photoshop World? I just have fun. I, I've met so many people there, and if, I don't even know if you were there then during the old NAP forums. Oh, yeah. A long, time, long, long time ago, I would organize a dinner for all the forum members to meet, and I look, just looked forward to that every year and Scott would come and Matt would come, Dave. Um, every year I see the people that I like, I see, I make new friends. I met several new people. Some of these people I'm really lifelong friends with now. Well, yeah, and I think that's, that's a great point with that. Uh, you know, I've even had that where there's, there's people you meet at Photoshop World that, that stay with you and, and be, just become your friends and just overall all day, all your life and become almost like your your photography buddies, you know, uh, somebody they can bounce ideas off of and stuff like that. Um, so uh, what, what has made you the happiest at Photoshop World? You talk about makes you happy. What has made you the happiest at Photoshop World? Learning new things. I, I really, really enjoy learning and Photoshop World is a very good way to present the learning. I come home and I feel like my head's going to explode and I forgot half of it before I even got home. but. I really think just learning new ideas and new things and seeing how other people do things. Oh yeah, cool. Well, obviously you've, you've been a bunch of times, so you'd probably recommend Photoshop World to a friend, I would say, that's safe to assume, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so why, why would you do that? Why would you recommend a Photoshop World to a friend? Because it's personal. It's one on, not one on one, I guess that's the wrong way to do it, but it's, it's a personal thing. You feel like you know the people, you feel like you know the instructors. You can tell that they're there wanting to teach and enjoying the teaching. And just being immersed in that environment for three or four days is just amazing. And it's that the Kelby One people do such an awesome job on putting it on. I've told people it's the most organized event I've ever gone to. Things just work. And I'm sure behind the scenes, there's stuff that, you know, there's crises every day, but they sure don't get show, shown to the people. Oh, no, no. It's perfect all the time. We're so, yeah. like, we're so on top of it. No, I, you're, you're exactly right. You know, there's stuff that comes up all the time, but that's where it's, it is about the experience. Well, speaking of that, have you been to other conferences? Um, I've been to the California Photo Festival when they had that. I think I went two or three times to that, and I went to WPPI once, but pretty much just for the trade show, not the classes. Yeah. So how does it compare between the two? Again, it seems more intimate. It seems more personal. It seems more in-depth. Um, WPPI was huge. Uh, California Photo Festival was much smaller, it, and I made some friends there. Um, but I have the budget maybe to go to one a year and I choose Photoshop World. There you go, there you go. Well, any other highlights that you'd have about Photoshop World, things that stick out on, in your Photoshop World experience, those things that you're like, oh, you know, uh, some people say like Midnight Madness is a big thing for some people or, you know, stuff like that. So <laughs> what, what is yours? What's your highlights? Um, 
Yeah, I go to Midnight Madness, but I wouldn't call it the highlight, but it is funny. <laughs> um, I've been to, to most of them. There's the donuts there, but um, I, the one talk that once really just stood out to me was a couple years ago when Stacy Pearsall gave a presentation. And she had the whole room in tears, and it ran 20 minutes over, and not even the moderators or anybody stepped up to try to hurry things up. Um, that one, that's one presentation I still I still remember. Um, I like the meet and greet party at the beginning. I I like the big party. Um, I love the pre-cons. I do a different one every year. I signed up for Glenn Dewis is this coming year. Well, that should be fun. Yeah. And that's I love cool. Glenn anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Well, awesome. I appreciate you coming on. I, Susan, I appreciate you coming to Photoshop World. I appreciate you coming on. And we, uh, we definitely look forward to seeing you this year again at Photoshop World. Okay. All Thank right. you. I'll see you in Vegas. <laughs> All right. See ya. All right, so we're coming to the end of the webcast here. We got one more, uh, one more guest coming in talking about their Photoshop World experience. But before we get to that, um, you know, wanted to uh, read. Peter had a comment uh, uh, about the travel. Uh, Peter was saying, "I've been to two Photoshop Worlds: Vegas in 2016 and Orlando in 2017, and I've made incredible, lifelong friendships and some amazing photographers from all around the world. I've traveled from the UK to the US to shoot weddings, and these friends have met." Uh, and I've met them across the world, simply getting together and sharing our love for photography. Uh, in fact, last weekend, I met up with two very good friends, Helmar Smith and Cassie Bateson, as we traveled North Wales to capture some stunning photo locations. This wouldn't have happened if it were not for Photoshop World and Kelby One. So those are one of those things where, you know, coming together, being part of this community, uh, it does change a lot of people's lives. And uh, let's hear from another person. Uh, he's, a, he's a moderator in the community. One of, he's a great, Great in talking about the gear, great in talking about uh, all the things uh, related to photography. So let's hear from him. Hey guys, we're here with a Photoshop World One Night. This is an alumni that's been to a lot of Photoshop Worlds. So we've got Doc here. Hey Doc, how's it going? It's going awesome, Eric. Good to hear from you and good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Now, how many Photoshop Worlds have you been to? I think this year will be number nine. There you go, number nine. So, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, amazing when you go to, I think I've been this many times. That's where, yeah, so, you're, so you love Photoshop World, obviously, or, or I, I'm hoping you love, I'm hoping you love it because you've been nine times, right? So it's an incredible experience. Yeah, so let me ask you, um, have you been to other conferences? Other photographic conferences? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I have, and I've also been to, um, a bunch of independent workshops. Cool. And so how does Photoshop World, my real question is, how does Photoshop World compare? Oh, it's completely different. Okay. Um, and not, and not to, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but the big difference that I find when I'm at Photoshop World is a sense of uh, belonging. You know, and, and I'm pretty much an outsider most of the time anyway. But one of the things that's very different at Photoshop World is it's very, very welcoming. And particularly, you know, in the first couple of times, because you don't know all the people, you don't know everything that's going on, it, it's just so relaxed. It's so calm. Uh, you don't see people fighting for seats. Uh, you don't see the attitude, the arrogance that you sometimes see at other conferences. And just my opinion, Eric, I got to say, I don't feel like I'm being sold to buy something every six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the shop world. Whereas, you know, other conferences, hey, listen, everybody's got their own business model. And, and that's fair. But I don't go to those other conferences more than once. In fact, I can only think of one that I've been to twice. Well, there and you that, go. That, and that was a videography one. And because, that was because the host was really, really good. And then they changed the host, and then it wasn't. And there you go. There you go. Well, yeah, and that, that you speak to, a, that's a big thing with Photoshop World. I mean, Photoshop World, we uh, focus on the education, we focus on the training, um, and we, uh, Scott himself, picks everybody who's coming. It isn't one of those uh, shows, that, and I, I know what you're saying, it is a business model decision. There's a lot of conferences that, uh, in fact, most of them probably are, are motivated by sponsor dollars. They're motivated oh. by um, who can sell oh, my product. Sure. 
Yeah. Whatever works for them. I mean, you folks got to do what they got to do. Yeah. But the, the Photoshop World Conferences, they feel different. The, really, they feel different. And, you know, having been as many times as I have and having the opportunity um, to be one of the moderators on the community and then sit in the community lounge that we had last year, I'm not the only one who thinks this. You know, a lot of members and a lot of attendees come and go, wow, this is very different. I can actually talk to the instructor and he or she will make time to answer me. And then last year when we had the community lounge, you know, we had Glenn and we had Frank and we had a bunch of other folks who actually spent their downtime sitting in the community lounge, just talking to the folks who were attending. Mm -hmm. And the feedback that I got, they don't get that anywhere else. The oh, bigger yeah. conferences, uh, attendee feedback is much more machine-like. Tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's something with, uh, with this year, we're even trying to do more of, uh, because again, like you spoke to, um, the reason that that happens at Photoshop World is a lot of times the, the, the people that we, well, all the time, the people that we want to get at Photoshop World, especially teaching, um, they want to, they're there to make you better. They're there to advance your photography. They're not there to say, I'm going to teach a class and then I'm going home. You know, they become part of the experience, the overall Photoshop world experience. And uh, speaking of the experience, um, what do you what do you really get out of Photoshop world when you come? I think it varies by instructor, to be honest. You know, I've been doing this for a very long time. But the beauty of Photoshop world is no matter how much experience I may have or not have in a particular topic, I always come away learning something that is practical and useful that I can take back to my photo or video business and turn into either customer satisfaction for preference, revenue is a secondary benefit. Uh, because the instructors don't come across as pompous or arrogant, you know, to your point, it's very clear they are there to share knowledge and share you know, what they've already slammed their fingers and drawers about so we don't have to. And for me, that's that's the greatest thing about coming out to Photoshop world is an opportunity to learn no matter what your level is. And look, none of us are experts at everything or complete amateurs at everything. The classes really do, and it, and it, it sounds like it would be impossible, but the classes really do have something for everyone. Oh yeah, I totally agree with that. I mean, and that I, I'm, I'm living proof of that. I mean, my, my, I, I apply, stuff from all those classes that I learned in my own style of photography. So yeah, it's definitely, no matter what you shoot, no matter what you're into, um, everybody gets something out of Photoshop World. Not only for the learning, but then there's the other things. So, you know, speaking of the other, the other aspects of Photoshop World besides the learning, um, what's your favorite thing besides the classes, what's your favorite thing about Photoshop World? I have to say that for me, it's meeting other uh, other creative people, and talking to them about what interests them, uh, learning what's driving them, and sometimes having a conversation where they can help me or where I can help them. And there's a lot of social activities around the Photoshop world as well. And some folks really, really are driven by those. You know, I, I admit I always like the, uh, you know, that first Photoshop dinner thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are other social events that may or may not appeal to people, and that's okay, because the calendar is pretty well chock full. <laughs> you don't have a lot of downtime. You know, I, I mean, I'm one of those people who always wants more classes, right? I don't want a break during the day. I'd rather go home completely exhausted. But the nice thing about Photoshop World is you don't go and then burn six hours waiting for something to happen. It's not like that. Uh, and so you, while we're between classes, or you know, perhaps there was you just needed a mental break. Not that there wasn't any good content. There's always good content, but you just need a break. You meet somebody and you start chatting, and then you're kind of going, "Oh man, I gotta go because I got another class to get to." You don't always feel that at other conferences, which are much larger with much larger crowds. Uh, you know, I said to Mrs. Kelby, I guess it was last, no, the first time we were back in Orlando, is it felt like old home week, like we were all back with family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So re speaking of you, know, so you've been coming for a while. So backing that up, 
Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that are watching that are like, you know, they just never been before. They they haven't they haven't made that journey um, to to go. Um, when you were at that stage, was there any obstacles that prevented you from making that leap and coming? And was it worth it to overcome that? Obviously, I, I think probably being nine times, you're going to say yes. But tell me, um, you know, what were those obstacles and how did you overcome them? Well, I think the, the, the biggest obstacle initially was, was this going to be valuable? You know, because it's a flight and because I'm coming from outside of the United States, um, we don't have the same fair flexibility uh, that folks mm -hmm. who live in the U.S. might have. So there's a pretty substantial cost involved. And also, because I have businesses and other work, it means it's taking time away from, from my job. And so what I had to do was come to the point where I thought the return on the investment, and I know that sounds businesslike because it is, was going to be greater than whatever I might potentially lose. What helped me make that decision was how the events were scheduled. You know, I would love Photoshop to, well, to be a day longer, but the fact is that it's crammed so tight means you're not taking a lot of time away from your job and your family to go. The other thing that I think is really beneficial, at least in the more recent years, is it's being held in cities where there's a lot of airfare options to get in and out of them. So, for example, Orlando is a huge international destination. Las Vegas is a huge international destination. So folks coming from anywhere probably have more choices in their transport in being able to get to Photoshop World at a more reasonable cost. The other thing that I think is beneficial, this is my opinion, uh, Kelby One typically strikes a decent deal with the hotels. Uh, so yeah, you're paying a rate, but it's not a stupid rate. And the other thing that I really like about it is you don't need to get, unless you're going to take time around Photoshop world, you know, to go make photographs in the locale. Um, and I love doing that in the Vegas locations. You don't need to hire a rental car. You don't have to worry about parking. You know, the hotel and the venue are really close together. It's always a walk. It's not a bus ride or a cab fare or anything like that. And that makes it very conducive to going. It just makes life easier on folks. Well, hey, Doc, I appreciate you coming on, and uh, we're gonna flip it back over to the show now, and uh, we'll talk to you. Uh, I'll t I'll talk to you later, Doc. I'll see you in the community all the time. Uh, all right, man. Peace. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for uh, making it through uh, all of our uh, our uh, members and alumni stories, even some of our first time attendees, getting their perspective on Photoshop World. Um, we do have uh, the camera bag to give away. So um, Christine is going to pick a name uh, at random from people that have commented. Um, and oh, it's up there. So the winner of the Think Tank camera bag, this is the, what was it? The Retrospective 20 is Susan Hill. So Susan Hill, you've won. Uh, Christine will reach out to you and set that up so you can get your bag. And um, I just want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, I hope you guys can make it to Photoshop World. Um, Make sure that if you've been to Photoshop World or you're thinking about going to Photoshop World, you know, like, share, follow us on Facebook. You'll see a lot of um, updates on Facebook, uh, Twitter, any of the social media, or um, just just go, just register. As you heard from a lot of people, sometimes you just got to make that leap. So um, we hope to see you in Orlando. We hope to see you in Vegas. And um, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by, and we'll see you guys next time.